A total solar eclipse is when the moon um, passes in front of the sun as seen from Earth. Uh, you might think that this happens uh, every month uh, because every month the moon goes around the Earth, but it turns out that the moon's orbit is tilted just a little bit. And so most months it passes either above or below the sun, but on rare occasions it will pass in front of the sun. And so a total, total solar eclipse is when that happens and the moon is also at the right distance so that it completely covers up the sun. We actually typically see somewhere between two and five eclipses every year, um, but total eclipses only seem to happen about every 18 months. Now that may seem like a lot, but most of those actually happen over water. For an eclipse to be over a major portion of land, like the eclipse that's coming, it is actually a fairly rare event. The eclipse on August 21st, 2017 is particularly special for us in, in Nebraska. We in Kearney are very lucky to be under the umbra, the total shadow of the moon, but the rest of the United States are going to actually see a partial solar eclipse. This particular eclipse is known as the Great American Eclipse because it passes through actually 13 different states and the longest stretch across any state is within the state of Nebraska because the shadow of the moon crosses literally diagonally across the entire state so it's going to traverse almost 500 miles here and it's going to cross those 500 miles in about 12 minutes. One of the exciting things about like viewing the eclipse actually from Kearney is the fact that we're striking the right balance of likelihood of clear skies and duration of the totality phase. If you go to states that are west of us, the likelihood of clear skies is greater, but the total eclipse phase is actually shorter. If you go to the east of us, your chance of cloud coverage is much greater. So we, I think we're striking just the right balance. The eclipse starts about an hour and a half prior to the totality. And the moon will be slowly moving in front of the disk of the sun, gradually obscuring it. So for an hour and a half, you're gonna see a partial eclipse of the sun until the time for the total phase comes when the moon is completely blocking the disk of the sun. For us in Kearney, that will be 1 minute 54 seconds. It will be dark enough that you should be able to see stars uh, in the middle of the day. Uh, and you'll also potentially see what's called the corona of the sun, which is the um, extended atmosphere uh, that's around the sun, which is normally, um, uh, normally too faint compared to the brightness of the sun to be, to be seen. Really during solar eclipses is your time to be a bit of an observer of and realize kind of your place in the cosmos. I think we, we lose touch, you know, in our everyday lives. The inquiry that, that's driven by events like this, it's what makes them really special. There are people who chase these events all around the world. They book cruises or they, they fly to different locations just to witness that few minutes of total solar eclipse that happens. This is literally a once-in-a-lifetime experience.